going to make chicken noodle soup today. So it's really easy because we have to stir everything in the pot today. And here's my recipe. So first put chocolate chips on tortillas and close up. Then. How is that recipe? Is it good, Spurge? Mm -hmm. It failed! They failed! They failed, Mommy! Well, go find them. Mm -hmm. You want to get it all cleaned up, Spurge? Yeah. Um, first, we wash it like this. And then, it goes back next. Then, it goes to the top. He's my good big helper. He likes helping me in the kitchen. We take it and then, uh oh. First, we take it and then just cut off the end and then we put it right there. Hold on to this end and cut it skinny. See how I'm doing it? I see that. That's good. And then, after this, put it in the crock pot. Mm -hmm. and I have a it's called pot. a slow pot. I have a little baby tiny. Yeah, Is that funny, Henry? Yeah. And it's 12 feet. Oh, that's Henry's size. And my size. It's your size? Well, you can cut the next one, Henry. It's a baby tiny bowl. You do have a baby tiny bowl. That's so cute. I wish I had a boy like that. I wish that. I wish I had a boy like that. Wow. Good job. Whoa. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Actually, Whoa. I want you to, to put it in that bowl. All right, Henry, put them in your little bowl. Big salary for your bowl for supper. <laughs> and then we will eat the marker. Alright, so Henry can have a turn. I'm denied. Okay, Henry. First, first. we cut the egg. Uh huh. And then cut, cut them skinny. That's too wide, Henry. Do it slowly. Is this skinny? Yeah, that's pretty skinny. That's alright. Hey, cut it a little bit more. Cut that one a little bit more. Oh, that's not skinny enough. Stay back, Spurgy. That's all right. Some of them can be a little... Oh, careful. He likes to put his hand up there for extra support on the blade. I did that and then put them in one bowl. That's pretty good, Henry. So chop about four large stalks of celery and about four large carrots or about 25 baby carrots. I love using baby carrots because they're already washed and peeled and it's just that much faster. And then I take one large onion and dice that. I take my large crock pot and dump the carrots, the onions, and the celery in. Add boneless skinless chicken breast. I usually use about two pounds. So I'm going to dump the chicken broth in. Like. Then I add a fourth a teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of thyme, one teaspoon of parsley, and then a whole heaping tablespoon of garlic, which is about equal to one bulb. And then to boost the flavor even a bit more, I add one teaspoon of onion powder and one teaspoon of garlic powder. And then I pour in three quarts of chicken broth. This fills my crock pot to pretty much the very top. So make sure you've got the large, I don't know what this is, six quart crock pot or something like that. After that's done, I put the lid on and set it on low. After about five hours, the thighs are done, so I pull those out into a bowl, and those are ready to be shredded. You could just kind of shred them up with two forks, and they come apart really easily. Look at that. 
super yummy and so much flavor. You can use chicken breast and I have done that on occasion, but I find that the thighs are just much more flavorful and delicious. And then these are the egg noodles that I use. They are frozen. I've just found these in the freezer section at Walmart. Unbelievable. They taste like I've hand rolled them out and cut them up in my own kitchen. They're so Ivy. yummy. Ivy. Ivy, what are you doing? So I just spoon out like maybe a cup of chicken broth and put that in with the chicken so it doesn't get dried out. I just set that bowl aside and cover it with foil while the noodles finish cooking here. Then I take a bowl with one cup of cold water and half a cup of flour and whisk that together really well until there are no lumps and then I dump that in the pot. This is just gonna give it a bit of thickness so it's not watery, kind of give it that creaminess. So put the lid back on and let that cook for an hour and then here it is. This is the final product. Dump the chicken back in and I like to add about two to three tablespoons of heavy cream just to give it that real creamy, mmm, deliciousness. Look at that. And this is one of those recipes that tastes amazing the day of, but guys, when you eat this as leftovers on day two, it's even better. Just add salt and pepper to taste, and you can also garnish with a little fresh parsley. Sometimes we even give it a little squeeze of lemon, and if you haven't tried this before, I recommend it. It's amazing.